I'm Cassandra Wilson, and coming up on Maryland Newsline, it's been more than 30 years and he's still running. Independent presidential candidate Ralph Nader makes his final push in Maryland. This pest is so devastating, the U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates losses could exceed $200 million in the Baltimore area alone. Andy Harris felt the military vote would help push him over the edge. But one week after the election and three days before those votes were even counted, he trailed by more than 2,100 votes. So he called Craddaville at 10 a.m. this morning to conceive. 18 million American homes with children have no father. And unfortunately, these kids are two to three times more likely to participate in the worst that society has to offer, including drug use, premature sexual activity, and gangs. But it's a cycle that this room of about 30 men hopes to break. The Wilson Bridge expansion project cost an estimated $2.1 billion and has been under construction for the past eight years. They don't expect final completion until 2013. Business owner Jason Farr lives by one creed. Quality service. <laughs> That's your motto, Jay. That's it. <laughs> Family atmosphere. That motto is helping him beat the odds. The U.S. Small Business Administration says more than half of all startups fail by their fourth year. This is Jason's fifth. Oh, the customer base has grown. Uh, this is out of this world. This, this was a dream come true. Despite this tough economy, Jason's business has only grown with five times as many customers and four additional barbers. Senator John McCain heads the Republican ticket. But Governor Sarah Palin is who people want to see. The governor was 35 minutes late, but nearly 4,000 supporters waited anxiously in the chilly night air. Their anticipation filled with excitement. Sarah Palin electrified the ticket. She has the grassroots very, more excited than they ever have been before. Palin spoke for half an hour, but wasted no time attacking Barack Obama's tax plan. This is the worst possible time ever to even consider raising taxes. But Barack Obama still wants to impose a massive new tax burden, despite the economic woes that you're going through right now. And his political background. It is not negative campaigning. It is not mean-spirited to look at someone's record and call him out on it and his plans and his associations. The latest polls show Virginia's in a virtual dead heat. But Governor Sarah Palin hopes her final rally will keep Virginia red.